Hi guys, um, I really wanted to talk to you guys today about my system for um, sort of sketching daily. So a lot of people right now are doing the five year sketchbook, or <laughs> people I watch anyways, bird. And I really wanted to do that same thing, but Hobonichis are very expensive, so I decided to get this little guy. So this is just a Midori sketchbook. It is um, just grid paper. There you go. Um, it's nice paper for fountain pens and sketching and Copics and all that stuff. It does, the Copics obviously bleed through, but yeah. So I really like this sketchbook. Okay. Sawyer really wants to be involved in this, so... <laughs> okay, are you done? No? <laughs> oh, okay, come on, come on. But before I show you this so far, I want to show you um, the system I already had in place before I decided to actually make a sketchbook um, for that. So let's clear this off. Here is my sketchbook right now. Um, something I've really enjoyed doing lately is sort of drawing out my day. And I have a couple um, videos about that. So I do have a specific like comic video which will be linked below if you want to check it out. Um, so basically what I do is I just sort of log my day and my thoughts. Oop. Sawyer. Uh, I log my day and my thoughts in my sketchbook. So I usually draw my character in whatever pose or facial expression to show what I'm thinking. So in this particular spread, I really don't like these stickers because they're all skeletons and creepy, but I mean they're stickers, so I just put them all in here. I got them with my wheels, my new wheels for my roller skates. Yeah, do you like them? Nope. She's good. Um, that's another example. So here um, I sent off some designs to the washi uh, manufacturer. So I just did sort of a test to see the size and what they look like. I'm printed on just blank paper, but there's me super excited about it. <laughs> And this is all, so this day I was really bored. I didn't know what to do, so I just sort of worked through it with sketches, talking about how bored I am, and then maybe I should work on my mom's gift for Christmas. So that's what I ended up doing. But I just find doing this when I'm upset or excited or bored or basically any emotion just sort of helps me work it out. And I still do journal. Um, I've been using my fountain pens a lot lately. So I'll still sort of write uh, with my fountain pens and just get it all out. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a different, depends what, depends what my mood is that day. Um, but I really like working things out in drawing. So that's sort of where it started. Then we move on to... Um, this other book I have, this is my traveler's notebook, um, so I called it Daily Doodles. This was inspired by a uh, book of Kells on Instagram. I was her page, I was following her Patreon for a while, and she would do some of these daily drawings, so I decided to get in on it. Uh, this was, um, all before... The days had started, so I just sort of filled them up with my thoughts. So I started doing these pages. Um, this was the official day that I started, but I just went back and put in a couple other things. Oh my gosh, Bird. <gasps> she just will not quit. Yeah, I know you want to be a star. Come here. Anyways, sorry. Um, yeah, so I just record a little bit from my day. I think some days I get a little too hung up with 
recording everything. So what I think some days I get a little carried away with trying to record everything. So what I've been trying to do lately is just um, focus on one or two highlights from the day and then draw it or like an emotion or something big that happened that day or a favorite thing. Um, yeah, this was, I drew these with my fountain pen and colored them with pencil crayons, but as you can see, it kind of dwindled out for a bit, and then I ended up changing this book to, um, my, um, roller skating log, and what I was practicing, and what day it was, and that didn't last very long either, so, but then I got inspired again for drawing daily, so I went back to it. So sometimes I even paste in things like this, like photos, or there I made some pins, so I printed out a photo of it. Sorry if you can hear the dumpster collector outside. But, yes, yeah, so, um... Yeah, this day we we were skating inside and uh, there was a bathroom on that floor so we could skate right into the bathroom. So I was really excited about that because, I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Uh, this day I went to an owl rehab and they had lots of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, lots of falcons and cool birds and they gave me a magazine. So I cut out one of the pictures from it and stuck it in here. And yeah go to the next page. I'm making pins and <laughs> watched a lot of this one show called Girl Go Girls. I am I watched it a lot last night too. So just it's a good show. Uh, decorating the tree with my family, playing Scrabble. So yeah, it's really it's really cool to look back on um, these days because Honestly, you just forget, and when you record a little moment from it, it just brings the whole day back, depending what you did, but that's what, why you don't even need to record everything, like just small moments, and then you sort of remember the whole day. So, yeah, that was when I made a sticker sheet, put in some of the stickers, and here I watched Soul, got a new fountain pen, which I love, bath time. Oh my gosh, bird. Yeah, this was a whole day, um, dedic well, I wasn't in the bath the whole day, but sometimes I can go for a long time. That day, I couldn't remember, because I had gone back and filled these in, so I think it's okay to have days like that. Sorry about that. Where you just, you can't even remember what you did, but you still write something. Um... This was recently. Here you can see there was a big jump in um, days. So the cool thing about having this book specifically is that if I didn't do it for a while, I could just pick up on a day that came next. But in the five year, maybe four year, uh, that I'm making, you can't really do that because you have every day. So. Anyways, we'll talk about that when we get there, off topic, okay, <laughs> back on topic, okay, so some highlights here, I've been working on my Rapunzel card game, which is a new card game I've been working on, and I really love it, like I, I love my first game too, but it, the concept of that one is very simple, this one has a lot more to it, so I'm excited to share that with you as I progress on it, and hopefully make that a game available for you guys later as well. These things take a lot of time though, so <laughs> bear with me. So more Rapunzel game working on. I bought um, my first bottle of ink. Uh, let me show you. Here we go. I'm sure I'll make a video showing swatches of that later, but um, I actually haven't bought actual bottles of ink except for like a black years ago. So now that I'm really getting into it and testing out different colors, yeah, I decided to pick up a bottle and I'm really excited because it is a beautiful color. Well, as you can see right there. It says hot pink, but it's got more purple in it than pink. So, 
Yeah. Um, this was yesterday, and I saw a seal at um, the park, and it was super cute because people were crabbing, and yeah, they were holding out like crabs and fish for the seal. It was super cute. So that's where I'm at right now. I so now that I have my other book, I think I'm just gonna keep going with this and record maybe different moments because I'm really enjoying it. When I pull out the other one to work on, I tend to just want to pull out this one as well. So for now, I'm just gonna keep going and see what happens. Okay, so finally, we've got this book. So it's just a plain notebook and what I'm doing, oh, sorry, what I'm doing is just writing on a small chunk of it. I'm going to make this a four year because I don't, I don't really think I have enough space for five years in here because I wanted a small book. Um, yeah, so I just sort of draw in a, diff a chunk. And then maybe next year I'll use like this space and then that space and that space. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll only write one word. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I get really excited at the end of the day to uh, draw on it. I mean, it is only day three and today's day four. So <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. But <laughs> so far I'm really liking it. And something that I've been doing and want to keep doing in order to get myself to do it is to keep this by my bed. So I keep it in this Galen leather box because it fits. Um, and I have the pen already in there. Sometimes I'll grab my pencil crayons but, but at least the pen's there so I don't have to get up and get anything if I don't want to. So I just keep that in there and put it by my bed so that when I'm in bed at the end of the day I can just reach for it and grab it. So, yeah. Happy to write sometimes, draw. I mean, I'll probably draw most of the time, but maybe some days I won't feel like drawing and I'll just do some writing. So yeah, I just write the top there and then with each entry, I just <laughs> accidentally wrote 2020. I meant 2021. I have to uh, fix that. And I think it would be fun to add like the weather. So I'll just draw like a little icon for how the weather was that day. And there you go, there's my $12 four-year journal Fobonichi that I made. Yeah, literally 12 Canadian dollars compared to, it would have cost me $75 to ship it and for the price of it. I know Hobonichi paper is great and it's great for fountain pens and it's beautiful, but yeah. The only, okay, the only downside to this book is that it doesn't quite have enough pages in it. So some of the pages I'm going to have to half. So I might do that in the summer when I maybe don't feel like drawing as much. Usually when it's colder out I, I get into drawing because I can hunker down in my room. So there we go. There's my sketchbooks. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm so sorry about Sawyer. She's been plucking her feathers and she rips them out and then she screams, so. Ugh, not the most fun. But anyways, thanks so much for joining me and subscribe so you can get more videos. I'll keep updating you on this, do some flip throughs, and as this baby gets uh, filled, I will uh, do a little flip through for you guys. Yeah, I'm only this far in right now, so. Well, bye guys. Thanks so much for watching.